This experiment also created the Office of the Commissioner of Internal Revenue, who, in 1872, years after the end of the expensive war, got to watch Congress repeal the income tax it didn't need and that never really worked. Tariffs were again the name of the revenue game in the United States. But even back then, you could find a mindset still prevalent today. All of the billionaires, you're going to start paying your fair share of taxes. Many came to think of tariffs as primarily being a tax on the middle class, and a growing number wanted to shift that tax burden onto the super rich. How could they do that? Well, you could tax their income. So in 1894, Congress passed the Wilson-Gorman Tariff Act, lowering tariff rates and offsetting the difference with a tiny income tax on only the super rich. But it never actually happened. The following year, the Supreme Court ruled that an income tax was actually unconstitutional. 